this is Laura GB and in this video we're going to look at how to use Power Automate to populate my Azure Active Directory. So here we start in an Azure Active Directory, it's completely empty. Okay, we've got an Excel file that lists all my employees and the hierarchy that they all fit in. Okay, and we've got some calculated columns telling me what their email address is and what their manager's email address is. So let's go and create ourselves a flow. So new flow, instant from blank. Add employees and we'll manually trigger it. And let's click create. So my first step, let's organize this flow a little using some scopes. So we're going to, the first scope we're going to do is we are going to um, get the employee data okay so let's add an action into there excel list rows present in a table okay and if we come into here it's on onedrive document library onedrive click little folder pick my excel file okay and on the tables pick employees Right, so that's that done. Okay, I'm then going to add a new step, which is going to be another scope. And we're going to add an action into here. Now, we want to loop through every employee. So I'm going to go for a control and we're going to go for an apply to each. So into here, we click value. Okay, then we're going to click add an action and we're going to have a look at the Azure AD. And there we are, Azure AD. What actions have we got? Let's scroll down a little bit. And there we go. Second one down, create user. So account enabled. Let's go for yes. The display name. Okay, so control space bar to bring up the dynamics and I'm going to put in their first name, space, their last name. Okay, mail nickname, let's put that in as their first, password, okay. Now this can be anything you like. Um, I'm going to put in red, um monkey one two okay i use a different password every time so believe me straight after this that password will not be the password that's being used okay so the user principal name is going to be um their email their given name it's going to be their first name and their surname is going to be their last name okay so show advanced down here gives you options for more things so i'm going to put in the department i've got that as well the job title i've got as well mobile phone haven't bothered office location i've got a location column okay Right, so that creates the user and that's looping through them all. So let's quickly rename that scope. Add users. Okay. So let's go and put in a new scope, new step, and that's going to be another scope. And and then to this, I'm going to rename that to be add organization. Okay. So in my data, I've got some people who haven't got managers. Well, actually, I've got one person who hasn't got a manager. They're the top of the hierarchy. It's Tanya. She's the chief exec. Okay, so I, the first thing I need to do is I need to filter it so that I don't try and give her a manager because that will fail. 
So add an action. We're going to filter. OK, filter the array. And the array we're going to filter is that one there. And we're going to go for that I want the manager does, is not equal to, and I'm going to leave it blank. OK. Now we've filtered the array, we can look at using that list to add managers. So we're going to add an action. We need to loop through them. So it's a control and an apply to each. OK. Output from the previous steps. If you look down here, we've got a body from the filter array. Let's put that into there. And let's add in an action. OK, so the first thing we want to put into the first thing we want to put in here, let's go and have a look at Azure AD. Can't spell today. For those of you that watch my videos, you'll know that I never can spell. So, so that's fine. Normal, normal situation here. And we're going to go for assign manager. Right. User ID or principal name. Well, I've kind of got that because I've got I've got the email address of the user. So that's fine. User ID of the manager. Well, there isn't the UPN in there. I can't use the user principal name in there. So I'm going to have to get the ID. So we want to be able to add in a step. Now, <laughs> my issue here is I can't add in a step into here. There is a plus button at the top here. So I'm going to add an action below it and then I'll swap the order. Right now. Given that we're doing Azure stuff, you go and have a look at the Azure AD actions. Um, and if you type into here, get user, you'll see there is a get user. It'll give you an ID. Weirdly, it doesn't work. OK, so that took me hours. So just to save you some pain here, don't use the get user Azure AD here. Um, it doesn't work. So I, I, I have put in a bug. I have put in a report. Um, I'm sure it is something that will get fixed soon. So instead, we're going to add an action because there's an alternative. Office 365 um, users comes up with one as well. So we can get a user profile. And into there, also now I can swap around so I can drag that underneath. So they are they're swapped around. So into here, I want to be able to put in the manager's email, right? I do a control space bar to get up the dynamic stuff, but I don't get anything from that filter array. It doesn't come through. So what we're going to do, uh, there are a number of ways of solving this, but we're going to do it by using the function method and we're going to bring in the item function. OK, and then after the item function, you put in some square brackets, you put in an apostrophe. And you put in the name of the column you'd like. Get it right. OK. And then we are going to assign a manager. So into the assign manager step, I can from here. So the email address of the user. So we're going to use the same technique we've just used. So press the FX button and I'm going to put in item. OK. And this one is just called email. It's a lowercase m. Right. And this one here, if I search for ID, there you are, get user profile ID. Right. So we have our get the employee data, add the users, add the organizational in chart details. Now, what I'm going to do just in case the last person we add there is the manager of the first person we try to add there. It takes a little while for that to happen. So we're going to put into here, add an action of a delay. And all I'm going to do is a delay for 30 seconds. Because that appears to work, right? So. I'm going to click save. 
Let's confirm we've got no users. Let's press test. Save and test. It confirms all the connections we're going to use. Let's press continue. And let's click run flow. And done. And there we go. A completely successful run. OK, so we can come into here, look at our list, do a quick refresh. And there you are. I have a complete organization and let's just go and check one of the people. So let's go and check Amy Ash. And there you are. Amy Ash has a manager, Alice Archer. So that is building a Azure AD directory from an Excel file using Power Automate. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.